Hello, it's Brent again. Yeah. Uh, well, I've come over that notch I was pointing out earlier. So now, just gotta figure out which way the summit is from here. If you're very observant, it won't be that bad navigation wise to find your way cross country up here. Plus, if you're really observant, you'll come across a lot of rock ducks like I have come across, and sometimes even just single rocks placed on top. But I'm pretty high up on the mountain now. Don't know exactly my elevation. This hike would have been a lot more enjoyable if my eye wasn't bothering me so much. Can't get it to dry out for some reason. But. I've been on Pacifico once. I think I uploaded a clip or two, maybe a couple clips from that hike. One hike, or one clip, on the summit. But notice, saw some old resting barrels just on the other side of these rocks, and a couple of these yellow posts here. I wonder if these are yellow post campsites. Right, now I can see a use trail. Most of the most of the way uh, up this, most of the way was, uh, there wasn't really any discernible line in the soil. In other words, a little pathway. There were traces of it here and there. Then again, didn't really need a, a use trail. Just follow the path up to your northwest-ish through the pockets of least resistance and watch out for the little rock ducks. I really had very little trouble navigating this up here. And earlier I even saw another horned lizard when I was starting to climb up uh, just past the 6,000 foot mark when I was climbing up uh, the Pacifico side, this side, saw another horn lizard. So, seen three horn lizards today. They must do pretty well in this area. see what's on top of this little knoll here. Just my body is very tired today. If I weren't so tired, this wouldn't have been as hard as I thought it would be. Because coming up the fire break, it's steep, but it wasn't as steep as I thought it was going to be. Sometimes the appearance is going to be deceiving when you're looking at the, when you're looking at a slope that you're about to climb from a slope on the opposite, opposite side of a canyon or sometimes from below that slope. Sometimes it looks more intimidating than it actually is. I don't know if any of you who hike have noticed that. But besides my more tired than usual body, honestly, that was not that bad. up. 
Not as sketchy as I thought it was going to be. I was expecting it to be really hard. In a sense of very loose soil. Not to say it was easy. It was tough. Even tougher because of uh, me being inaf inactive for a few weeks and getting over a stomach bug or whatever that was. It really took a lot out of me, so that's why I'm crawling at a snail's pace coming up this. Taking lots of breath breaks. Otherwise, if this were me four weeks ago, yeah, it would have been tough, but probably wouldn't have been, wouldn't have felt this tough. Get to this knoll, get a better idea of how much more climbing I have left. Kind of doubt that I'm going to be going for any other peaks. Okay. Yeah, I got some more back that way. The summit might be over that way, or it is over that way. But will I have any more false peaks to climb? I don't know. Tell you one thing for the time of year we're in, you normally start getting hot this time of year. This weather's nice. Well, see you on the next clip. Hopefully I'll be at the summit area soon. <laughs>